Hello chapter X, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, the lighting's gonna be a little darker than normal because I have to close the door because of that fish tank. <laughs> but anywho, we are going to do a little chit chat, get ready with me, because I don't have a grocery haul this week. I'm going to tell you guys about my way in, and I am also going to show you guys a little snack haul that I picked up at Kroger when I went with my grandma the other day. So, first things first, I get this hair out of the way. Alright, so first things first, foundation. I am going to use the Tarte face tape. I love this stuff. I think this is what I used in my last get ready with me. It's very comparable in my opinion to Kat Von D. So, and I use the color light, ooh, light natural. So, excuse my dirty beauty blender. I haven't blender. gotten ready in a while. But my husband wants to go out tonight to a, one of our favorite steak places that just opened back up. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to put my foundation all over. And to be honest, this might not even be a good fit anymore because I've been outside and I'm pretty tan. So <laughs> this might be a little too light. Guys, I look like a freaking ghost. This is not my shade anymore. <laughs> ah! I got some darker powder foundation. Gonna have to make work. And I am nowhere near a beauty guru, so please don't come at me. This is just how I do my makeup. <laughs> I told you I haven't gotten ready in a while that's how bad my foundation is compared to my skin <laughs> you can't tell my arm is super dark I have um, Native American in me so I get very right, dark so we're going to try to fix this with the Super Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation from Maybelline. And this is in Natural Beige. So let's tell you if this can fix this pale foundation. So as I'm putting this powder on, as I told you guys last week, I moved my way in day to today, just so it makes more sense. And I am down... 2.8 pounds and that makes me think it's 1.4 pounds away from 30 pound loss. I'm so excited since switching to low carb I have gotten out of my plateau at least for right now. I know during weight loss journeys before I've had more than one plateau so I'm sure I'll have another one sometime. But for right now, it has helped me tremendously to get out of this plateau, and I am so grateful for it. So, I think, like I've mentioned in all my videos, water is important. It's key to keep you balanced, and yeah. I've just been drinking a lot of water with whatever I have. If I have to have carbonation, I drink a sparkling water that has no added sugars or sweeteners to it. Like AHA or the Clear American, but the unsweetened version of the Clear American. As good as she's going to get, folks. <laughs> I'll make it a little darker with my browns bronzer. Okay. 
Next, I am going to move on to eyes. So to start off, I'm going to use the Total Temptations palette. And I'm going to go in with this like light lavender shade right there. Just for my base. Let me find the brush. So anyways, I am almost at my 30 pound mark. Makes me super, super excited and proud of how far I came. It has taken me like a year and a half to get that far. And when I hit that major plateau for about a month recently, it was really disappointing. And that's one of the main reasons I went and saw the doctor along with my husband and I trying to conceive. I just didn't know what was up with my body. So yeah but now i know and so far low carb has been working for me i'm gonna go in with the nude rich huda beauty palette this is so pretty you guys look at all of that i'm going to take that first color right there and use it in my crease C crease bottom color right here and just put it on the outer corner and I am using you guys as a mirror that's why I keep getting so like close like that <laughs> That middle color right there, and just kind of blend those two colors together. I'm by your side now. I love this. So gorgeous. I use the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I'm gonna do this off camera though because I can't do it <laughs> through my phone. I need a mirror. So I'll be right. And lastly, I go back to the Temptations palette and in the middle right here are highlight colors. I love this gold one. I just mix a little bit of the purple, but mainly the gold. Go right here, right here. So now before I do mascara or lips, I like to do my hair that way my mascara doesn't, or my hair doesn't fall into my mascara. But as I was saying earlier, uh, water is super important to me. I drink four to five of my tall glasses a day and each one of those are between 22 to 24 ounces I've also been getting a lot of walking in with helping my dad because I do the weed whacking most of the time so I'm walking across yards and stuff so I've been active doing that this is my crimper it is the con air no sorry bedhead brand. So I just take little chunks like this. I almost put that the wrong way. It could be bad. And I just let it sit. My hair's still a little bit wet so that's why you might have heard that little sizzle. And 
and that's how it turns out. And I keep doing that along my whole head. How is your guys weigh-in going? Comment down below how you're doing. Whether it be positive or bad, let's hear some encouragement with each other down below in the comments. I'm gonna speed through this process for you guys. And then after that is finished, I'll come back here and we'll show you guys some snacks. What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding So again, I'm using a milk product. The, well, it's dirty, sorry, because it's in my makeup bag. But the Milk Mascara. So what the one looks like makes your lashes look long. Yes, I'm that person who opens their mouth when doing their mascara. Okay, I gotta do this in a mirror too. Sorry. Now it's time to do lips. I am going to use my NYX lingerie. My favorite liquid lip ever. It's in the shade Corset. So pretty. And that, my friends, is the finished look. You couldn't see it before, but now you can. I have two big zits from being out in the sun and sweating. <laughs> but that is my finished look. Hair, makeup, lips. This, again, is my favorite liquid lip ever. So now I'm going to show you these snacks I picked up from Kroger. All right, so these are the snacks 
I picked up. First, we'll start over here because I already tried one and they are amazing. So this is the Think Kids, yes, Kids Bars, Vanilla Cupcake and Peanut Butter Cup. So good. This literally tastes just like a cupcake. So good. <laughs> so if I'm craving cake or something like that, I pick these up because these are only 14 carbs compared to an actual cupcake. Same with the peanut butter cup. If I want a Reese's peanut butter cup, I'll just eat one of these for 14 carbs. Again, I picked up some chili that I could put on like chili dogs or those chicken sausages I have in case I want like a coney one day. This has two carbs, a serving. Then onto Blue Diamond, salt and vinegar almonds. You guys already know I eat these instead of chips and they are so good. They are five carbs a serving, yummy. I picked up these Palmini noodles to give them a try. They're four grams of carbs per serving. I've seen a couple YouTubers eat them, and they said they're all right. I got some vanilla Premier Protein to try to make nice cream with fruit, and instead of unsweetened milk or water, I'm going to put a little bit of this in there, and I think it'll make it really creamy and taste like ice cream. Just picked up some more ahas for when I want some combination. I picked up this to have and give it a try. It's coconut milk chocolate peanut butter swirl. So for two thirds of a cup, it is 29 carbs. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. And it's not something I will have every single night. It's for those nights when I really want ice cream. So I'm just gonna keep that in the freezer. And then these came in the mail, so I wanted to show them with you guys because I've been waiting for almost three weeks for them. My package got lost, and they sent out another one, and it was here like that. So, <laughs> I don't know what happened. But this was the Cafe Collection on NetPods.com, and I got the Classic Chocolate Toasted Marshmallow and Cinnamon Swirl. I'm so pumped about this Toasted Marshmallow. And... From what I've read and talked to my doctor, as long as you are below 50 calories, you will not break your fast. So I think I am going to start using these in my coffees on the weekend when I don't have a Premier Protein coffee. So I'm really excited about that. And then last but not least, this I just picked this up for a quick pop in the oven dinner if I'm tired one night and really don't want to cook. I love pizza, you guys already know. I love pizza. <laughs> but this is a lower carb option. For half a pizza, it's 25 grams of carbs. So I thought that was pretty good for half a pizza. So that's just the quick little haul of stuff I picked up. And I'm actually gonna wrap up the video right here because we're gonna get ready and head out in a little bit. So I hope you guys like this video. I know it's a little different than my typical grocery haul with just the snacks. And I'm sure each week I'll have to run into the store for something. So I'll probably find something new that I pick up that I can include in Saturday's video. Just not always going to be a grocery haul. So I hope you liked videos like this. Again, there might be recipe videos. There might be more videos like this with my weekly weigh-in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell that way you're notified every time I upload on Wednesday and Keep Saturday. Keep working on that chapter you're on. You got this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>